What's up, everybody? It's HTG Brian here, and we've got Asgard Free Room for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. That's right, there are a handful of collectibles scattered throughout Asgard, and we're going to go ahead and find them right about now. Real quick, want to give a shout out to Warner Brothers for hooking us up with a copy of this game. Shout out to Tyler P for helping us with all of the collectible locations and all of the right order of how we're supposed to play these free roams and challenge videos. And also a quick shout out to you guys for watching us and continuing to support our journey of this video game excellence here. So uh, yeah, here we are. We've gone ahead and we have located the old hubba bubba here in the middle where we're going to... Use the old beep wobble beep boop to go ahead and look at that. Bleh, all those collectibles come puking out. Hey, you know, they could have actually had them come out of the old volcano. That would have been cool. I know every area has a computer and all the collectibles were consistently coming out of those computers, but it would have been cool to kind of make an exception and have them all come tumbling out of that volcano. That being said, we're going to go ahead and recommend that you check out our quick links down below in the video description if you're in a hurry, as a couple of these are rather lengthy puzzles and or missions, this being one of them. This one clocks in at just under five minutes total for the puzzle. And as you can see here, it actually takes us to the round dome-ish like building right to the base of it. And there is a box with two power lines that need to be activated. So we'll go ahead and notice that there is some sort of a apparatus apparatus up on top of the doorway there and there's also this giant sword with a beam of light that's inside and it looks like a little telekinesis might be needed but I'm trying to figure it all out here as there's kind of a majestic glow. Turns out it has nothing to do with that sword. Well, not yet anyways. We're going to go ahead and find one of the gears on the upper right wall needs to be bada-boomed. We'll go ahead and smash it down and build up. Well, it looks like a Groot terminal or some sort of a round roller ball panel. And we'll go ahead and switch to Groot and get our roll on. Now, as it turns out, I had a hard time figuring out which way it went. For me, it was actually up that spun that sword around. And look at that. The light actually comes reflecting through from, well, I don't know where it's coming from. I, I should probably know that. But like I already mentioned, I haven't really spent a lot of time watching the Thor movies yet. I need to Go ahead and go back in time and watch those. But essentially, you can see the beam is coming out and it finds its way out onto our rainbow pathway here. And no, it's not time to get your Mario Kart on and play Rainbow Road. It's actually time to pull out Iron Man and bust open those silver blocks there. And look at that. We've actually got some buildable bricks that can be built into a Captain America shield reflection pad. And we'll go ahead and pull out the old Captain and a shield and see what we can see. Now, when we get our reflect on here, we can see that there, oh, ooh, there is another reflector panel over there. There's actually two of them. And look at that. There's two over here, too. So uh, it's kind of the wrong angle. So we're going to have to go and manipulate those. And look at that. We've actually got a little bit of an indication that we need to bounce that reflection off of a couple of those things and get it over to that giant yellowish I don't know what that was. It's some sort of a power absorber, though. Oh, little musical characters here. I meant to switch to Crystal, but I failed. But essentially, we just wanted a flying character so we can get back up there and flip this switch, which actually, it uh, turns that around and gives us the right angle for that particular one. Now, that doesn't mean that we are good to go just yet. However, let's go ahead and hop on the pad and see, because you never know. We just might be. And oh, 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 bingo, bingo. Oh, no bongo, though. All right, so we're going to have to go over there. And it looks like there is a third one we're going to have to manipulate. And let's see here. Let's, no, we don't need that. Oh, there's some silver bricks here. I wonder what these are for. Uh, as it turns out, I'm pretty sure they're just studs and a little bit of accents for the area. I'm sure there may be some more hi history or maybe it's an Easter egg of some sort with characters uh, regarding just Asgard or, or something like that. I I'm not exactly sure. Like I said, uh, my Asgardian knowledge is probably less than most. Uh, you know, I, I have watched the first Thor. It was awesome. I keep trying to get the family to watch the other two. Haven't gotten to get it done yet, though. So hopefully soon. I know Ragnarok's supposed to be like one of the best Marvel movies ever. And for what it's worth, we actually just completed Spider-Man Homecoming last night. Uh, we, yeah, we broke it up into like four nights due to uh, some stuff we got going on here. So it took forever for us to get to it and then even longer for us to watch it. I mean, who takes four nights to watch an hour and a half or two hour long movie? Anyhow, it was great, though. We loved it, and we're going to move on to the next ones, and hopefully, who knows, we might even get a chance to go see Black Panther this weekend in the movie theater. Then we'd be ahead of things as far as that goes, but 
All right, we know that we've got a couple of uh, these reflectors that we need to manipulate. So we're going to go ahead and do all of it right now so that we can just go ahead and hop on that reflection panel and make it happen. So there is a statue that was blocking our control panel there. So it looks like maybe they were more than just a little bit of an accent there. And oh, look at me. I get totally lost in here. I'm like, which way do I go? Which way do I go? Really, I knew I needed Captain, so I wanted to stick with him. And I made it out finally. We'll go ahead and get our reflection on. And look at that. It is officially going to light up that panel. And joop, 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 joop. look at that. Open the door. And what's inside? You guessed it. Gold brick. So we'll go ahead and drop down and grab that bad boy. And guess what? We get to move on to the next one now. So, oh, to the end. And this next one happens to be a race on top of the dome here and i'm sure there's a name for that so drop me a comment down below so even though i don't have it for this video at least i'll know if we ever need it or come across this area again you know what i mean this race was kind of a pain i actually had to do it a couple of times mainly because uh i got out of control so so the first time i did the old double tap on the flying which for, i guess it's the jump button for us it's x could be a I'm not sure what it is on the switch but, uh, you know, basically, I double, you double tap when you're flying, and you get this this boost, right? It, it comes a little faster, and uh, you get to go a little bit quicker along the way. However, I got a little out of control doing that, so I backed off the boost, and I did not get the goal. I, I actually came in at, like, 29.5 or something like that. So, uh, or no, it was 31.5, 30, 35, something like that. I failed, whatever it was. I did not get the time I needed and I had to do it again. So if you, uh, you know, have to play it, replay it a time or two, just know that I did too. Now, as you notice, we actually found our way to the end of that race, and it was quite a long ways away from Asgard. So we went ahead and used the old computer terminal fast travel option to get us right back. And as it turns out, the, one of the next puzzles happened to be right by that. So we're going to go ahead and look at that. I, uh, so this is kind of confusing here. There is some yellow bricks with a gold brick inside of it glowing and it kind of looks like you need to do something to that yellow brick but it turns out you actually well you do but you don't directly interact with it you don't have to melt it or anything like that you have to uh, cut off the vines on the left hand side here and then you have to get your melt on on this gold brick that's right so this is gold even though it looks a lot like that yellow brick over to the right there we'll carve it out and inside we get some buildable bricks but not quite enough to oh wait yes it is all right Psych! I, th I thought we had to destroy one more box behind us there, but I was wrong! But look at this, we got like one of those pressure-sensitive jacks. It's like a floor jack. So you gotta jump on it three times, I believe. There's once, twice, and thrice. Whoops. Thrice. All right. And look at that! We pumped it up, and there is our goo brick! So we are good to go. Two puzzles down and a race in our rear view as well. Next up, puzzle three, which happens to be on the shore over on the right or east side of Asgard. And look at that. It's right here in this broken cathedral-like area. And right off the bat, we notice there is some bricks that need some shattering. So we'll get out the old black belcher, I mean the black bolt here, and charge up our loud and proud voice and melt it down. And look at that. It's got some buildable bricks. And I can already tell right now it's going to be one of those chi dragons. So we'll go ahead and switch over to Iron Fist and pump up our chi. That's right. Oh, chi, oh, chi, man. I don't know. That's a new one. Is it good? Does it stay or does it go? I, I think it needs to go. We'll come up with something better than that. But oh no! It's the octagon. And but not quite. It lit up for a second there. I thought we were gonna have to fight somebody. But as it turns out, it just gave us some buildable bricks that assemble into a grapple plug. So pull out your favorite grappler and rip that bad boy off. <laughs> And look at that. We've got ourselves a gold brick inside, too. So we're making some good ground now. Like I said, a couple of these are really long. Some of them are really short. And overall, this is kind of the medium size. It's kind of a medium size video here as it's about oh, just under 40 minutes long. I guess it's more like 36, 37 minutes. So it's quite a bit long or shorter than 40 minutes. Anyhow, enough of my blundering words here. We're going to actually make our way over to the next puzzle, which happens to be in the hot lava. So... Watch out, that floor is literally lava. And we're going to try to avoid that to the best of our abilities. And as it turns out, we do a pretty good job until we collect the brick. But we're not quite there yet. So uh, go ahead and target the object out in the middle. And that's going to give us some bricks to build. We build those up into a gravity booster. Of course, we're going to need Star-Lord's help for this one. You know, is there any other characters that have the 
gravity booster ability or is it just star lord i haven't figured that out yet you know me if it ain't broke don't fix it if i find a character or some sort of a weapon or situation that works i usually continue to use that rather than searching out other characters that have it i know that kind of drives some of you guys nuts as some of you get to you know would like me to see and play as other characters and abilities however i'm pretty you know reclusive as far as that goes but I'm trying to get better. And if you guys have requests of characters and things you'd like to see, let me know. I'm always all ears on them kind of thing. So, all right. This was another one that I failed as well. Oh, that was a bad edit there. You know, I should fix that as I have time to. But you know what? Another blunder. We'll go ahead and leave it in there. But as it turns out, yes, as you for sure saw, I did fail my first attempt at this. I actually got 29. I was literally one short of getting there. So earlier I was like a half a second over and, and this time I was one under the requirement. So uh, pretty close, but not close enough. So we'll, we, we had to do it again. And basically you just got to get your pew pew on. And what's Spider-Man doing down there? Look at that. He's got a web. What is he doing? So distracting. But uh, my best piece of advice for this one is if you're having troubles, don't press and hold the button. Tap it rapidly. Your gun will fire a smidge faster, and it might give you just that little extra edge that you need to get more. And as you can see, once I started tapping rather than holding, I ended up getting 37. Look at that. So plenty. And look at that. We are also going to put another check mark on our mini game master checklist there as we got one more of those games behind us. Now, what do you guys think? Am I, should I put together a video of all of the clips from the different free roams to kind of show you where they are and how they go for an actual mini game master challenge video? Or is it good enough that they're all in the free roam videos and we cover them? That, that's a question you guys need to answer because, you know, we've already covered them. So it's up to you to kind of decide if we need to do that or not. And that being said, we've made our way inside this building over here. We've got this camera that needs repairing and... If I'm being honest, this was like the longest mission ever. There is a lot of good, funny commentary and video stuff there, but I didn't feel we needed it for this video. So I edited all of that out as you'll get to see it on your own if you're playing. And if you don't have the game, then at some point, hopefully you'll find it on discount and get a chance to play it and get to witness all that. But it's pretty funny. It's just like a little morning talk show TV thing back and forth. It's like a cookie show. They talk about cooking stuff and randomness. And But it was just, it went on and on and on. I actually removed two different sections of it. One of them was just under a minute long and the other one was like 32 seconds. So a minute and a half to me was worth saving uh, so that we can get to what is really important, and that's the collectibles and the tasks at hand here. Because this one's kind of confusing, too. It's multiple things going on here. You have to repair the camera. You have to watch that torturous morning cooking show. Then you have to uh, follow this pathway all the way out here. Manipulate this fridge, which, look at that. We got a tosser all the way in the back, which opens up. And then you got to melt the items inside. And then you have to, uh, yeah, create a blender on the right, which we'll do in a second. But it takes me a second to figure that out. So I'm try trying to put these items in, uh, watch this. Uh, I'm trying to put them on the shelf here. But I, I'm having a hard time melting, too. It was kind of a funny angle, if I do say so myself. But uh, I eventually get them all. There's a carrot, a potato, a bread, a, a stick of bread. So I try to put them in this cauldron on the table here. But you notice she went and piled that box in the corner, which gave me some buildable bricks, which I didn't take notice of quite yet. I was really tunnel visioning, tunnel visioning these uh, items over here on the left, the egg, the carrot, and I guess it's a potato. No, that's not a potato. That's an egg. All right. So I, after the third time of trying to move things, I realized, oh, wait, there's some buildable bricks over here. What do we got here? So here's that blender I was talking about. And I'm not sure why we'd put like a loaf of bread and there was some eggs and a carrot, but that does not sound like anything I would want to chomp down. Oh, and a, a drumstick too, a little chicken in there. Spice it up with a little protein. I don't know, that's a weird combination. But as soon as we get it all in there, eh, we have to go over there and get our blend on. And then, of course, it actually takes us away into another one of those kind of like cinematic moments with these guys going back and forth. Oh, uh, and that's right. We do have to uh, manipulate the cauldron, too. We have to go put the cauldron back on the fire because it's got to cook. And once it's all done, it comes back and we got to melt it down. And guess what's inside? You probably guessed it. Gold brick. So it turns out recipe for gold brick is an egg, a carrot, a loaf of bread. And what was the other thing we put in there? Something else. There was one other thing, but that's a pretty simple recipe, if I'm being honest. Now, this mission also threw me for a loop. So, I'm going to go ahead and target it and fly on over there. 
And you might notice there's a little bit of an edit here. Maybe not. Maybe. I, I think I did. Whoa, floor is lava. Watch out below. But I think I did a pretty good job on the old edit here, but we'll have to wait and see. I thought I did a good job on the last one, too, and it was clearly not good. Or on the cannon one. Remember that one? That was a mess. All right, so this one, we have four people that need to be mind-controlled and hop across the hot lava. But the problem was, I didn't notice these guys. I don't think they loaded in. Did you notice they were kind of still loading in for me right there when I turned around? So I think the first time, it just kind of glitched out. So I had to leave the area and fly back. And then once I did, those guys spawned. So that, that was nice. So if that happens to you, just know that you can fly to like Manhattan or somewhere. And you should, uh, when you return, it should reload the area and hopefully fix any glitches or bugs that happen the first time through. So, all right. This is kind of difficult, but I have to be honest. I did pretty good. Look, is she doing the chicken dance? Like, if you don't move, it looked like she was... That's what it looked like, if I'm being honest. But all right, so you got to platform your way with all four of these guys. And it's actually pretty easy. However, I struggle with the third one. So uh, bear with me. Now, keep in mind, too, we do have quick links down below in the video description. If you get the point of what's going on here and you just want to move on to the next one, I totally get it. It's going to be for uh, what looks like mission two. Uh, go ahead and click that quick link. Well, that's kind of a tongue twister. Click that quick link. Co click that quick Click that quick link. Woo! I don't know if I could say it five times fast, but I tried three and it worked out. So, all right, we got two over to the shore here, and now we got to find the next one, which, no, nope, not that way. So, basically, I did the two easiest ones first, not really realizing. Now, I do feel like this one is possibly the toughest, and it's only because it requires a little bit of timing. Now, the other ones were just kind of good aim. I'm not so good here. So uh, the red ones that you stand on, they are time sensitive. They do go under the lava and then they reappear later. Uh, I, look, so strike two. It's all, like I said, about the timing here. And I think I get it on my fourth try. I'd like to say third time's a try, but nope, fail. That's twice they've lifted up that column and my bones have been chilling on it. All right, let's see. Third, fourth time's a charm, maybe? Fourth time? I kind of struggled with the... Uh, control oh yes we're up and i'm gonna skip that other lower red one. Oh no i'm not oh gosh hot potato hot potato hot potato so this one that one moves what the heck i wasn't expecting that essentially once you get past that first couple moving columns it should be pretty easy from there and the last guy is you know i think his difficulty level is a little bit less than the one we just dealt with but he's a little bit further than the other two that we started with so it is quite possible that, you know, you may have some issues with this one as well. Now, let's see here. Hey, check it out. If you have not already, please click that subscribe button. We're on a mission to the 100,000 subscribers as of right now. We just flipped 85,000. And if you haven't subscribed already, that would certainly help us on our journey to get there. And, you know, hey, share, tell your friends, do whatever. If, if you like what we got going on here, if you don't, we get it. Uh, it's not for everybody, but we certainly try to provide family-friendly help. And, uh, you know, we try to put some smiles on faces of all ages whilst doing so. And, all right, we got that fourth guy over to the ledge there, and we are all safe. So we got our gold brick, and we're ready to move on to mission number two, which happens to be for Ghost Rider, and he's just right over here. And look at that. We'll go ahead and, hey, he's got some pretty sweet hair if I am being totally uh, straightforward with you guys. And look at that. We've got, uh, yes, we'll go ahead and help you. This guy needs to have some information answered, and then we have to help him on a mission. We actually take him to a bike shop so he can get a bike. Apparently, he's lost it. He had a little bit of a bender last night and doesn't remember where he left it. So we're going to go ahead and follow our compass to a series of people and just get a few you know, bits and pieces of information from them so we can go ahead and report back and find out where this bike shop or a good location to round up his bike might be. And I kind of already ruined it. As it turns out, we actually go to the bike shop. So this is by far the longest mission in this. And oh no, we got another one of those. <laughs> That's still really weird to me that those guys split like that. I'm not sure what what game code or what the the you know point of that would be i'm sure it's just a bug of some sort but we've seen that a handful of times uh it was really bad in nueva york that was probably the worst area we were seeing all sorts of people split into twos and threes and horses too remember we saw we've we've seen it in medieval england too if i remember so lots of weird stuff happening i was pretty convinced that you know nueva york was haunted but 
Anyway, so we do have quick links down below in the video description if you are in a hurry to get to the next item. I believe the next one is going to be the gold brick statue, which is pretty easily found. It's right there by the computer terminal. And then, you know, we're, we're almost done. We only have to free lead, and then we've got the boom boss battle. So, really, this level or area was really short with tasks. However, the tasks themselves were rather lengthy. I mean, they send us on a couple of these information quests where we have to talk to multiple people all over the place. And it's just very time-consuming. And, you know, sometimes these guys are hard to find. Like this guy, like, I, I feel like I'm really close to where he is. So, I'm like, all right, he's got to be on the other side of this wall. But no, he's not on that. No, so okay, he's got to be right over here by the. No, he's not here. So wait, let's fly over this wall. He's got to be on this side of the wall. And boy, you can shout. Finally, he is. But I mean, you see what I'm saying? Some of these guys are really kind of a pain in the took us to find. So uh, hopefully, our locations will show you as we fly through each one of them, and they'll hopefully make it a little easier for you. Now, I've asked you before in situations like this where there are multiple people to talk to, would you guys like to see like some sort of quick link, like maybe A, B, C, D, E, or one, two, three, four, five? You know, some, something like that that gets you to each of these people. So you know a kind of a quick link within the quick link so to speak now and that's another thing too we, we actually just got invited to this other service that is rather similar to how quick links work however it's like direct linking so we can like kind of bookmark a spot in our video and then send you a link that'll take you right to that video to that spot which seems kind of cool, but I don't know how relevant that would be considering we already have quick links and stuff. So let me know. I mean, I don't even know if you guys use them. I, I, I have no way to know if you guys use them or not. There's no analytics for me to check to see if this, this link has been clicked one time or a million times. No way. So let me know down below. Like I know not a ton of you are watching these free roam videos as most of you find, uh, you know, these pretty self-explanatory. However, for those of you along for the ride, Feedback is crucial to us. So, you know, any kind of information you can provide to us, whether or not, you know, you like seeing those quick links or maybe you don't ever use them or maybe the extra, you know, quick links within the quick links would be good. Or maybe you want to see this new service we're talking about. Uh, I don't really want to talk too much about it yet because it's kind of like in development and we were actually asked to partner with them. And I don't know how much I'm supposed to even talk about it. So, you know, with that being said, you know, if you're interested, go ahead and ask me in a comment down below. And if I can post information, I'll find out later today and I will try and get that info to you. Now, if that's something you want to see, too, you want to see me start using the service, let me know, too. As like I said, we, we were invited to partner with them and I'm pretty sure that that would, uh, you know, be a pretty easy process to make happen and start posting those videos and such. So anyways. Uh, yeah, buddy, we've got uh, Thor out now. We thought maybe bringing a hammer down would speed this process up. These guys with the shields, I, you know, I'm sure there's like a method to the madness here, but you know, shooting them from a distance, targeting them with a projectile, none of that seems to work. So I guess the ground pound might be the way. I'll have to try that when I get up to my next shield yielder. That's right, shield yielder. Uh, all right, so we are going to keep on keeping on, follow old flamey hair here, and uh, we actually get encountered again by at least one more group. I think we get all the way up top here before. No, psych, it happens before the top. And look at that. These guys are going down like uh, a bunch of clowns. And uh oh, we've got one of those big pew pews. I'm not going to let him get me. That's right. Look at that. To the moon, Alice. <laughs> All right. So we made mincemeat out of that group. We can go ahead and keep on keeping on. Now, also, you know, there is that trophy achievement, Road Rage 2. Uh, you know, each area, I'm trying to knock out a few of those so I don't have to go ahead and farm it all at once at the end. Uh, kind of like we did with our People's Hero Challenge, which we got a lot of those as we went through in the free roam. And actually, I'm kind of spoiling things here. Once we completed this video, we went ahead and completed that challenge. So we made a special video just to complete and round off that challenge. And now we've also got access to do a couple of the other ones that we were waiting for, like the wrapper roundup and things like that. So, uh, you know, hey, if those challenges challenges are more important to you than these free roam videos let me know because to me i have no preference in the order i do those videos now the free roam has a special order but i can squeeze in some challenges or gwenpool missions in between if you guys would prefer that so hey look we finally made it all the way to the shop here i flapped my yapper all the way to the choppa choppa and look at that we've got mr ghost riders character token or trading card as i like to say now officially in our arsenal 
We're going to use the map point to go ahead and travel back as we are all the way over in Nueva York. And although it doesn't take long to fly here, it certainly speeds things up by just using that quick travel. Now, right next to the old terminal, we're going to find our gold brick monument or gold brick statue, as I've been labeling them all, I guess, inappropriately. But that's all right. We, we, we get the gist. We understand what I mean. Now, look at that. We'll go ahead and build it up. This one's kind of cool. It's like a giant rock with uh, Mjolnir. Did I say that right? Mjolnir. I think that's what that is, right? Or is it a, a replica? I guess there could be more than one special hammer. I, I guess, again, I'm not very well versed in Asgardian history, so I might be missing out on something there. But uh, all right, look at that. I swear this guy was just locked a second ago. Maybe I am tripping, but it's Heimdall who happens to be tripping himself. He keeps thinking that people are going to attack us. And it's one of those cases of like, oh, there's some guys around here somewhere. I'm going to set up camp and watch over here. You guys look over there and see if anything happens. And of course, nothing happens in the direction he's looking, but we have to, uh, you know, <laughs> ensue in battle behind us. Carnage with a bunch of bones. That's right. We're going to knock them bones around and take these guys down. Now, there, it turns out there is a counter in this particular one, too. So uh, I'm not sure. I think they're all 12s. I might be wrong on that, though. But there are three, maybe four of these little sessions that you have to take out bad guys while Heimdall looks off in the distance. Now, I thought I was totally hosed, too, because you can see there was a meter down in the ground there. But he hops up. So luckily, that came up. So, and if that does happen to you, I want to point out just again, too, that you you might need to fly over to Manhattan or Man Thing Swamp or Old West or just anywhere out of Asgard and go ahead and reload the area when you fly back into Asgard. So sometimes that happens to me and I have to reload and, and usually I just edit it out so you guys don't see that. But often I'll tell you because I want you guys to know sometimes things don't go the way we hope or they should. And, you know, sometimes you got to have a plan B, right? But there's always a way. You just got to find it. That's kind of like my mantra. I know the wife and kid hate me because I say that all the time about stuff that's usually an uphill battle, but it's true. Almost always. There's almost always a way you just need to find it. And, you know, sometimes it means sacrifice, the things you don't want to do. Sometimes it means bad things will happen. But, you know, it's still, the rule still applies. You know, sometimes sacrifice is needed in order to, uh, you know, to grow or to learn more. And, and uh, that being said, uh, that's a good rule to follow. There's always a way. You just got to find it. Good motivational speaking, so to speak. <laughs> All right, uh, another group of bad guys done dealed. And uh, let's see here. I Look at me. I'm like, come on, let's get a car in while we're waiting. Come on, let's get a car in. Oh, swing and a miss. Uh, and I'm sure the value of that car has depreciated a little bit as it took a hammer to the side. But all right, another group pops up, and he's looking off in the distance, not being any help, of course. That's all right, though. These guys go down pretty quick as I am now tossing the hammer. And look at that. It's going way faster than it was before. And I'm literally making mincemeat out of all these guys. 9, 10, 11. And come on, buddy. Quit trying to hide. Quit trying to prolong the end of Look at him. He's scared. Well, are you scared, bro? Uh, all right. He's down and out. And let's see here. I think that might be it. Yep, it is. All right. So last but not least, before we open up the old boom boss battle, of course, we got to collect our character token for Heimdall. But we got to find and rescue Mr. Lee. This is by far the most redonkulous freeing Lee experience I've had to date. And realistically, it's probably user error here. I, I So, okay, you need to find him, first of all. You locate him on the map, fly over to him. Once you get there, you're going to notice there are a handful of uh, bricks that can be manipulated with time. So we're going to need Doctor Strange to go ahead and work his magic. You might also notice that there is a fire on one of them and also a strong handle. So we've got a couple of things that need to happen here. And first off, we're going to go ahead and manipulate time and try to access either A, that fiery pallet over there, or perhaps maybe get somebody strong enough to rip open that handle. Granted, we can find a little spot to stand on. And look at that. So I went, I believe I went back in time. I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, but you'll have to forgive me. But essentially, you fly out onto this little uh, platform here. And now you can use somebody with some strength to go ahead and rip it down. And that gives us, uh, well, part of what we need here. And so we go ahead and try to jump back up. But the floor is lava and we fall short. So we need Doctor Strange and his time manipulation powers again. So we'll go ahead and do that. And this time I am, I believe I'm going forward. And once we get all the way to the end, yes, there is a quick link down below for the Boom Boss Battle. If you are in a hurry to get to that, maybe you already freely. 
And basically, so what we need to do here is, is now we need to ride that little drone down to the ground. But see, I, I don't catch that. Like, I, I honestly thought it was going to fly out and go save him, right? I mean, that's we've seen that before in another video. So why it didn't happen this time, I, I wasn't sure. I thought maybe the game was glitched. So I, I take the time and I, I, I actually I went all the way back to get to that spot. So now I'm going forward again. And what I'm not realizing is, is that there's that one rock out there that is on fire at the, at the one spot. See, it's not on fire right now, but I need to stamp that out. But I need to go back in time further, I believe, in order to do that. So again, this one was just really difficult. And, and essentially the key here is, if you're wondering like, okay, well, what do we really need to do? You need to pull a strong handle. You need to stamp out that fire. Then you need to ride that drone down below. And once you do that, it should give you some buildable bricks that you then build into some sort of another raft-like apparatus for him. And then he should hop on it and get out of there. But it, like I said, it takes me forever to do this. I mean, this was a long one too. This was like a four and a half minute deal, maybe longer. And keep in mind too, I've even sped this video up ever so slightly. So this isn't even real time. It's pretty close, but it, it is sped up a little bit. So, you know, a five minute video with my speed ups ends up being like four and a half minutes. So I have four, 440 or something like that. So it's pretty close to real time. And you can see he hopped all the way over there. And you can also see there was kind of an abrupt edit there. I will go back and try to do a transition so it's a little smoother. But once Stan has made his way to the end of the pathway you've created by stamping out the fire and, of course, by also ripping that strong handle down, you need to get that drone involved. So rewind time or speed it up, whichever way it is that builds this. I'm pretty sure you rewind it because it makes sense. Then you get up top and you literally will hop up and hang out on that drone, which crashes down below. Anytime now, Brian. All right, here we go. Whee! Oh, no. Where are you going? And watch this. Here it goes. Boom. All right, so now we got some bricks, and we're going to build those up into, like I said, a little, it's kind of like a makeshift raft or something he could stand on. And once we get that out there, not quite there. We need to manipulate time again to do that. So this time we only need to go one phase or section back. And once we do that, it should be in prime spot for him to jump across and excelsior us. That's right. Here we go. Drop it like it's hot. And come on, Stan. You the man. Here we go. Woo to the who. All right. So we've got him saved. And that is going to officially give us our final gold brick for the area and unlock the old boom boss battle, which happens to be not too far from where we is. But let's go ahead. I was trying to follow Stan out of here, but then he gets stuck. Have you noticed that? He always like either gets stuck or stops after like a certain amount of journey. Now, look, we've got our boom boss battle here. This one is for, is it H H Hella? I'm not sure. Gila? I'm not sure I'm saying that right. And I'm not sure they say it during the battle at all. But find your way over to the red glowing halo and press the button indicated to go ahead and start the battle. Now, this boss battle is rather lengthy, too. I had a heck of a time figuring out her weakness. Like, it seems as though you need somebody that can shoot from a distance. And I kind of felt like... Really, Doctor Strange works better than like Iron Man or maybe even Thor's hammer. So I, you know, realistically, I probably should have just edited this down and you know, and just told you my my key points, which I just did. You know, I feel like getting up close and personal, you cannot attack her. She must have some sort of like invulnerability, invincibility stuffs going on. I, I don't know. Maybe she's uh, immune to you know a fist attack. But what happens is she keeps spitting out all of these bad guys. You have to take those out, and then you have to attack her from a distance. So again, I, I, I've got Doctor Strange out here, and I'm using his magic. And, and although I'm, you know, only taking out one guy at a time with each one of my pew pews, you know, and I eventually get one or two shots in on her in the back there, it's not moving very fast. So I'm pretty sure I switched to another character. I think I switched to Crystal first. And she doesn't really do much more damage. And, and see here, too, this got kind of confusing. You run all the way down the rainbow path here, and you get to the end, and then all of a sudden, like, it, it kind of switches on you. And all of a sudden, like, she's behind you, and you've got to flip the camera around. So this, this was not one of my most glorious boss battles. It's not the most frustrating that we've come across either. So it's kind of, like, right in the middle. The sweet spot, so to speak. And you can see, I, I finally like, all right, I'm going to go all the way to the front here, and I'm going to try because I like the camera angle with her being off in the distance. Now, I could have spun it around. I mean, you can look the other way, too, but 
Uh, I just felt this was the good spot to be in. So I switched to Crystal as I, <laughs> as I thought I did, finally. And I don't do any damage there either. So I'm like, all right, let's go. Someone with a little more firepower here. Let's got Thor's Hammer. It's Asgard, you know, a related enemy. It's a real foe, right? Like, these two really fight in comics at some point. At least I think they do. I mean, it's Asgard, Thor Smash, this bad guy, good guy. Like, I think that's what happens here. But I'm not having any luck. So I start targeting from a distance. Even the hammer doesn't seem to do any distance when I throw it. So I pull out, I believe, Iron Man next. I think, all right, his rockets are going to do the trick here. And see, I'm, I'm just trying over and over and over again. And I'm thinking, all right, it's got to, no, nothing, nothing, even from a distance. So, again, I, I, I feel like Doctor Strange's magic might be the best way. And there may be someone else. And there's probably something I'm totally missing. A character that works out great. But, you know, and, and, you know, it may be a weird situation with the game, too. A lot of you have been reporting that you guys can use Captain America's 4x4 for the van races. However, I cannot. I, you know, it won't work for me. And so I, I'm not sure what is different. Maybe it's a console thing. Maybe you guys are playing and having that success on the Xbox or the Nintendo Switch you know, or, or PC, for example. So, something other than the PS4. Like maybe there's a bug in the PS4 version that prevents me from using that. However, that doesn't really work out because Tyler P played it on the PS4 and he used Captain America. So I again, I don't know why it works for some and why it doesn't for others. And the same rule here. Like I don't know why... Thor's hammer, Iron Man's rockets don't work, but Doctor Strange's magic does? Like, in every other battle we've been in so far, it's been the opposite. Doctor Strange's magic is pretty weak, considering, you know, like the rock. We take out two, three, four guys at a time with the rockets with Iron Man. You know, so, I don't know. Anyways, to each their own, the good news is we are officially using Doctor Strange again, and it's over! It's over! Almost, wait. Hella down for the count, and we officially collect that trading card, or character token as the game likes to call it. Bah. But we've got a whole nother check mark to add to our list. And wait a minute, we've got an, another mission that has not unlocked here. So uh, I have not done my homework. I should have done my homework before I actually cut the audio for this. But I am 90% sure that is one of the remaining Gwenpool missions we have not unlocked. Now, Tyler was pretty sure that they don't show on the map at all until you unlock them, but I'm feeling like that is what that is. That might be another race, too. There may be a race that unlocks just like there was in Egypt, and we'll find that out before, you know, too long, and we'll come back, and we'll nail it and get it done. But that's going to wrap it up for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 Asgard Free Road. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. More to come soon. As always, until next time.